Official watches. Ultimate timekeepers of UCMMA. My name is Wilson, I'm 34. I come from Enfield, uh, Team Supreme. I'm Nick Black, I'm 28 years old. I'm from Poland. I'm from London Fight Factory. What I've been doing, basic stand-up, groundwork, BJJ, uh, just normal workout, six hours a day. So in the past three months, so I hope that Nick Black has been training because they will need that fact. Um, a lot of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, because it's my base. A lot of boxing, and some wrestling, some bow. Everything is what he what is in the gym. So Nick Black, I hope you've been training, buddy. Yeah, you have gonna have Portuguese on you, you know, two good life. So hopefully you're gonna be nice and strong, buddy. Uh, hi Wilson, hopefully we're gonna go to a fantastic fight tonight. We are too comfortable with bad intentions. I live for the moment, you can feel the tension. And it's on now, it's on now, it's on now, it's on now. I'm a Terminator, so I don't really know what you think you're gonna do to me. I'm bulletproof, so no, you ain't stopping me. I'm on the way to the cage and I'm ready for war. Yeah, I'm a Terminator, so I don't really care about what you're gonna throw at me. I'm bulletproof, so no, you ain't stopping me. I'm on the way to the cage, ready for war. Ready for war, ready for, ready for, ready for war. Ready for war, ready for. Not just so I watch the belt crush. Adrenaline, adrenaline rush. Come on, when I'm at my style, oh gosh. Hell no, knees, I'm watching her box. Not just so I watch the belt crush. Come on, with the guillotine. I'll show you what I mean. Hands for your body, cause I'm gonna pull out your spleen. Blood dripping, dripping and I'm pouring. Atmosphere is through the roof, soaring. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Three rounds of mixed martial arts fighting in the bantamweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the blue and white trunks. He weighed in 61.2 kilograms, representing Team Supreme. Here is Wilson Piera. And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black and gray trunks. He weighed in 61. Point two kilograms representing LFF team. Here is Mini Me Nick Black. And when the action begins, your referee in charge is Andy Nichols. Well, the touch of gloves. This will be one of the highest level amateur fights you're going to see, Rob. Team Supremes. Eating shots there, Grant. No guard. Put their hands up. Well, Team Supremes, Wilson Pierre Perrier. He's a quality fighter, but he's up against it tonight. Some good shots to the body. Very, very tight. And it's okay holding a fighter down to you like this, but you burn your arm out. When the fight goes back to his feet, it's difficult to throw punches. Mini me, as he's affectionately known on the top position. Just trying to scramble through, tries to type that arm. Fires a huge left hand, takes the back. He can get the rear naked if he's careful here. He gets that arm locked in, I think. Snakes under beautifully. It's not quite under the chin yet. He needs to flatten him out. He's trying. Trying to get deep in that chin. Piera defending those hooks well. Defending the choke well. <laughs> Let's go back and soften him up with some strikes. Able to get that arm in. Can he get it under the chin? It's still on the chin, not underneath it. We're under now, he's got that choke. Looks to be in deep. Nice and tight. Wraps up even tighter. 
Yeah, he's got to finish it from here, surely. It's in deep. That was a desperation move there, but he's taken that wrist off. Kills the arm away, does well. Manages well, to survive, that, Grant. That was incredible, Rob, I have to say. The arm back in under again, but not enough. Firing big right hands. The referee's looking on. Well, the now arm he's goes got it. in again. Ten seconds left in the round. He's going to peel it away again. Wow. How do you survive? So here we go, second, second round. round. And it was interesting at the end of that first round, Wilson P Pereira was moaning to the referee about shots to the back of the head. Now, they were pretty borderline and I would have let them go myself if I was the referee. to be careful not to give up his back again he's putting a lot of energy into that headlock yeah he's, I mean he's trying to get a takedown but like you say he's going to end up giving his back if Nick Black gets his hooks in he's already stepped over if he pushes the elbow down releases that wrist there we go he's got full mount this is a terrible position for Barrera And Nick Black, he dominated the first round. And he's in a very, very dominant position at the beginning of this second round. Big yeah, heavy shots. Hammer fist. Huge hammer fist. Nick Black's corner saying to take his legs away from the cage. That's to stop him using the cage for leverage to roll Nick Black over and get out of this full mount position. Another big hammer fist. He's going to come out the back door. He's working that way. His corner telling him to get up, get to your feet. Nick Black intent on diving down and landing some more heavy shots. Moves to side mount again. I mean, he's got some work to do, Nick Black. An improvement, but he's very, very good. And he doesn't stop coming forward. Trying to dominate his opponent. He's going to get full mount again here. There we go. Beautiful work. Pereira, his arms must be very tired. Those shots are heavy, Rob, aren't they? They are. Lots of power in them. Last few seconds of this round. Nick Black starting to look tired as well. Very, very good round. Yep, that, that could be a 10-8 on most judges' scorecards. So here we go, third round. And as you said, lots of work for Pereira to do to get himself through this with his hand raised as the victor. Yep, even if Pereira wins this round by a 10-8 uh, on my cards, he cannot win. So he, he needs to finish the fight by submission or knockout or ground and pound. And oh! that looks like it could all be over. Beautiful big shot. The referee's right close, and it is over. Wow. A big right hand. I mean, it did seem like it was a matter of time, Rob. 
but it wouldn't have mattered how the fight was going. That right hand landed right on the button. It dropped his opponent. The referee was right there. He did give Pereira a chance to recover, so credit to the referee. But what a performance from Nick Black. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the end comes 35 seconds in the third round as our referee, Andy Nichols, calls a stop to this contest, declaring your winner by ground and pound, it's Mini-Me, Nick Black! Whoa, hang on, hang on, Wilson. Let's go a quick couple of words with Wilson first. There's not many times that we're all going, what is that guy's neck made of? Iron, steel, rubber? And over there you're saying, why are you stopping it? I'm just getting warmed up. Listen, you cannot train hard and you've got bags of it. So please come back again soon. What a great fighter, what a great runner-up. Your runner-up, Wilson! Man. And as for little mini-me, <laughs> mate, me and you, like brothers, bruv. Fantastic, but what a tough cookie. Thanks, man. It's just everything is because of this guy and all my LFF family. Guys, thank you for support. He wants more of it. Mini me, I'm sure you'll be back again with more fans and more bald heads. Your winner, Nick Black.